Hello friends, welcome to Lukman IS. Today we are going to have the Hindu analysis of 26th May 2021. So let us see which are the important articles straight away from our today's the Hindu newspaper. Yes, these are the articles for mains purpose and for prelims purpose. Let us take overview of all these articles first. Calibrated closures on page number 6 editorial page. This editorial is having context of need to bring changes in the pandemic policy of the government. Okay, so yes, at present, what are the concerns associated or the limitations in the pandemic policy dealing with the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic? And then the writer is or the article is providing way forward also. Next, rules and rulers. The context here, again, the editorial of this article is the changes or the tensions in relationship between government of India and some social media companies. So recently, the IT rules for social media companies or intermediaries have been implemented from today itself. They were introduced in February and the concerns associated with these rules, some salient features we have to understand and then concerns and the way forward is provided in this article. So from governance perspective, GS2 paper, this is very important. We are surely expecting question here from this part of our syllabus. For prelims examination, panel, panel to define offences of speech and expression. So this is important from polity perspective under article 19, fundamental right, free, right to freedom of speech and expression. So yes, this fundamental right, what are the reasonable restrictions provided in Indian constitution for this exercise of these rights by the people, right? So all these aspects we are going to cover from prelims perspective here. Then Mali in turmoil as army detains president and prime minister. So this is in news, the military coup happened last year and now the president, prime minister have been dismissed by the head of military junta here. So what is important for us is the location of Mali, some important features, rivers and all these aspects from geography mapping perspective. Okay, and lastly on daily basis we are having COVID-19 related developments important development, cyclone YAS related important developments and daily prelims MCQs for practice purpose on today's current affairs. Next, let us go into details of all these articles. First, calibrated closures. Now this article having context of different states being extending the lockdown time period beyond 1st June now. Along with that, there is a need of bringing changes in the pandemic policies of the government of India as well as state governments. Why? Because at present, there are some flaws, limitations in the pandemic policy of the government. What are these flaws? Let us try to understand. Okay. <clears throat> there is a need of much clarity on future threat from virus variants. Notably, this particular double mutant variant first found in India, it has three subtypes now. And the dominant one, this one, is estimated to be 50% more transmissible than another variants of concern like this, B117. Okay, so that's why we need to understand the threats, future threats from such virus variants and uh, work upon plan accordingly for uh, having such pandemic policy. There is no roadmap for vaccine availability ahead at present. The central government is abdicating its responsibility of universal vaccination in the country and the responsibility is on the shoulders of state government. State governments are not equally positioned for if with as compared to each other in providing these vaccines on equitable basis to its people. And therefore, there is problem here. Universal vaccination is, we can say, the long road ahead. Along with that, the state governments are facing many roadblocks in assuring or we can say buying the vaccines from the international market. So this is also one of the concern. Some states are unwisely reducing testing numbers, making that much harder to map the course of transmission and future pandemic waves. This is also one of the concern. The data regarding the tests, the infections and death rate. This is also, there is lack of transparency also. 
lack of transparency in data availability to the public so this is also making problem in further understanding the future course of this pandemic right so we have to understand these concerns are there at present and what should be the way forward to deal with or we can say that in future the pandemic policy of the government should include following aspects which are these the pandemic policy reset required that reflects scientific insight encourages safe public behavior through persuasive communication first thing monitoring second thing and importantly incorporates medical interventions of scale this is how we have to provide the way forward whenever there is covid 19 related questions related to pandemic policy governance all these aspects are there especially in gs2 paper always write this as way forward uh, when we are talking about the pandemic policy then the road to universal vaccination is going to be long as we have seen recently that in britain it takes two doses of covid shield for 60% protection against dominant virus variant that is also found in india therefore the second dose should be administered after 8 weeks and not 12 to 12 or 16 weeks that the present government's advisory says about this okay covid shield vaccine as it is 60% giving protection 60% against this double mutant variant right so for that purpose there should be advancement of second dose administration of the second dose measures to shut down everyday activity lead to fear and panic leave less affluent sections the disabled migrant workers and many single individuals unable to cope so this aspect is related to we can say vulnerable weaker sections of society how they are disproportionately be uh, impacted because of the lockdowns okay then the golden mean that should be adopted is to shut all non essential shops encourage remote transactions open street sales and home deliveries actively monitor compliance with covid-19 protocols in public places vaccinate workers in services including domestic workers on priority this should be the golden mean non essential services they should be completely shut down whenever there is surge in the cases there should not be complete lockdown by the states this is going to have severe impact on those poor or vulnerable sections of society therefore such kind of approach should be there and lastly free food distribution must be central feature of lockdowns there should not be any death because of hunger during these lockdowns and therefore recently sent, uh, supreme court has also directed all states all states to provide a dry ration free of cost without asking any document of like a ration card or aadhar document without asking any document to provide such free of cost dry ration to migrant workers in those states okay so this aspects uh, relate to social justice during this pandemic what kind of question we are expecting discuss the changes required in pandemic policies of the government or policy of the government so there can be any statement and uh, with respect to that statement discuss the changes required something like that question we are expecting yes uh, because uh, if suppose uh, your mains examination is going to happen in december Uh, considering that prelims is conducted on 10th october then at that time surely we may in future face the third wave of pandemic and the focus of all discussion will be on changes required in the pandemic policy of the government right yes the second article on page number 6 rules and rulers why such naming of the article because it is talking about new it rules for intermediate trees under it act 2000 okay so these rules are related to social media giants also okay so this social media companies social media giants they uh, related to them which are the features or provisions of these rules first thing yes 
the bigger social media platforms which these rules refer as significant social media intermediaries they are referred as significant social media uh, intermediaries to adhere to vastly tighter set of rules within 3 months which ended on 25th may that is yesterday from today onwards they had to follow all this or uh, let's say compliance with these rules and that's why there was fear even uh, today many people including me also uh, checked instagram and facebook that whether they these platform are working or not but they, they are working still so there may be some kind of compliance by these social media platforms right so yes <clears throat> The second aspect uh, related to these rules, they require these platforms to appoint first chief compliance officers in order to make sure the rules are followed. Second, nodal officers to coordinate with law enforcement agency. And third, grievance officers to ensure the grievance redressal to its serve uh, or we can say those who are uh, receiving the services of the social media companies means users okay so these three important let's say officers are to be appointed by all these social media platforms for different purposes also the important concern here these are required like whatsapp company or other such companies to trace problematic messages to its originators raising uneasy questions about how services that are end to end encrypted can adhere to this so basically the concern here again is right to privacy right to privacy now today itself the news is coming that whatsapp company has sued the central government over these rules tomorrow we will discuss that news also right so surely there is there will be problem in compliance by social media companies as these companies or these platforms are continuously ensuring its users that there will be right to privacy or the privacy of users will be upheld we always see such end to end encrypted messages this notification even in whatsapp those who are using for the first time they uh, have such kind of message in the whatsapp itself this ensures the trust of people on those platforms the privacy is being ensured and when the government is asking these platforms to seek the originators of the particular content the content can be anything right so this is basically this can be arbitrarily used by the government so this is actually muzzling the voice of the critics or those who are voicing the opinion against the government or government policies all these aspects we have to consider here while implementing these rules now the analysis the analysis in this article about these rules it is saying that though these rules are we can say that there is a difficulty in compliance with these rules the social media giants should ensure compliance at present the non-compliance is not the solution non-compliance is not the solution it will further erode the relationship with the government this is how we have to provide the way forward also that means we have seen recently there is conflict going on between government of india and twitter company recently we have seen how some of the posts of bjp functionaries have been uh, tagged as various levels have been given and uh, some kind of let's say changes have been done in that toolkit and therefore the labels have been given by the twitter company and the central government asked twitter company to remove these labels but twitter company had not followed that okay so directives so this is how there is all already conflict going on the similar conflict is going on with whatsapp company or facebook company or whatsapp platform regarding its new privacy policy right so from all these aspect we can understand that already there is there are tensions in the relationship between some social media platforms and the government and they should not be further increased by non compliance to these rules that means we have to understand that non compliance can only make things worse 
especially in situation which relationship with some platforms such as Twitter and government seems to have broken down. It is important that social media companies fight new rules in the court of law if they find them problematic. This is how the approach is now followed by a WhatsApp company by going in court regarding implementation of these law, uh, rules. Okay. The other option that engaging with the government may not, be, may not work in the strange times, but stonewalling of the, uh, on the question of compliance can never be justified. So basically companies have to have compliance at present. They can follow, uh, let's say, the legal approach and approach to court of law regarding these law rules. It is also important that the genuine concerns of social media companies are taken on the board by the government. So this is how the governance is done. Basically the government has come up with these rules and uh, let us say without any public consultation, also no legislative route adopted by the government. The rules were brought through executive resolution or executive manner route. This is already the, the criticism of the government and a top-down approach, one-way approach is being adopted by the government to bring various rules, policies, right. So this is not governance. When we say the governance, the government works with all stakeholders. The government works with all stakeholders both in policy formulation and policy implementation. Right. So here, if we are talking about social media platform, the stakeholders are social media companies as well as its users and common people of the country. Right. So uh, along with the experts. So all these uh, should, there should be some kind of deliberation and the feedback from all these stakeholders should have been taken in policy formulation and policy implementation also. However, in this case, uh, some kind of one-way approach, top-down approach is being adopted. It is harmful for good governance, effective governance, we can say. So this is the question frame framework. It, it can be framed such kind of, uh, or the question can be framed in the examination like governance is about working with all stakeholders and not one-way relationship between those governing and govern. govern. Discuss with special reference to recent tensions in the relationship between government of India and social media companies. You need to remember two to three such instances. Earlier also there was problem with the Twitter company regarding one, uh, let us say removal of one hashtag campaign on its platform by various users, right. Second recent tensions uh, with the Twitter company itself and the privacy policy of WhatsApp. You need to remember these three problems in recent times. You need to mention them in your answer. We are surely expecting question from this area in GS2 paper. Okay. Next, panel to define offenses of speech and expression. Okay. Now this question, oh sorry, this article, it is talking about a new panel is constituted by the Home Ministry to suggest reforms in British era. Indian Penal Code is likely to propose a separate section on offences related to speech and expression. A new section is going to be introduced or recommended by this panel. As there is no clear definition of what constitute hate speech in IPC, the Committee for Reforms in Criminal Laws is attempting for the first time to define such speech. Okay, so this is a good thing. And if the government accepts these recommendations and make changes in IPC, this is going to bring more clarity and reduce arbitrary use of various other IPC sections regarding violation of speech, uh, fundamental right of speech and expression, or we can say the reasonable restrictions on such fundamental right. What is this fundamental right? Freedom of speech and expression, Article 19. There are different fundamental rights in part 3 of Indian constitution and one of them is right to freedom. So this right to freedom, the three articles, article 19, article 20 and article 21 relates to right to freedom. And there are six freedoms uh, or these rights are given 
in article 19 and one of them first is uh, right to freedom of speech and expression okay so what is this freedom it implies that every citizen has right to express his views opinions beliefs convictions freely by word of mouth writing printing picturing or any other way or manner that means it includes press it includes music it includes social media platform press or movies short films everything or right to remain silent okay this is also included in this freedom of speech and expression however it does not include we can say right to strike it includes right to demonstration or picketing but not right to strike okay so this is the interpretation according to supreme court then state can impose reasonable restrictions on the exercise of freedom of speech and expression there are various reasonable restrictions on these freedoms six freedoms which are given in article 19 for the speech and expression which are these first sovereignty and integrity of india security of the state friendly relations with foreign state public order decency and morality contempt of court defamation incitement of offense these eight reasonable restrictions are there for freedom of speech and expression and yes uh, recently we also discussed about this defamation case was there right so mj akbar defamation there is civil and criminal defamation also also contempt of court case we discussed about advocate prashant bhushan case contempt of court reasonable restrictions right all these aspects are there public order decency yes surely they are useful but many times what constitute uh, this reasonable restriction the definitions are very vague and there can be scope of arbitrary use of these uh, powers with the state to implement these reasonable restrictions uh, to curb or we can say reduce the fundamental right of freedom of speech and expression so yes in prelims examination we can expect question on this fundamental right here next mali in turmoil as army detains president and prime minister so this is in news last year there was military coup and now the elected president and prime minister have been arrested in mali okay so the, the that's why it was in news so basic information about mali this is landlocked country in western africa its capital is bakomo bakamo sorry bamako not bakamo bamako okay then its southern part is southern sudanian savanna where majority of in inhabitants live and both niger and senegal rivers pass through it okay so let us locate these rivers yes you can see the niger river coming like this right so yes this is a niger river and then there is senegal river moving like this here okay so this is the course for niger river this is senegal river this is mali and you can see the northern part is part of sahara desert while southern part is a savanna biome, part of savanna biome here. Okay, so you need to aware about the biomes also and their locations, rivers. Along with that, the agriculture and mining are important, uh, let's say, sources of livelihood in that region. So it is third largest producer of gold on African continent. This is the major mineral that is mined here, gold. Okay, so this is basic information about Mali, that country. So whenever any country is in news, make this habit, you look into atlas, both political and physical atlas and location of different features in the physical form, other important cities, capital or, and the, let's say, bordering nations. You can see the bordering nations of Mali here, Algeria on the northern side, then Maurita Mauritania, then there is Senegal on this side, then Guinea, Cote d'Ivory, then Burkina Faso and Niger. So these are the bordering nations of Mali. Right. Okay. Now COVID-19 related developments. Yes. <clears throat> 
the possibility of children returning to normal life in US became stronger with vaccine manufacturer Moderna announcing that its COVID-19 vaccine mRNA-1273 is 100% effective in preventing symptomatic infection in 12 to 17 year olds after two doses. So after clinical trials, this company has announced the results. This is good news. In US, this is going to, uh, the company is now going to seek the approval from FDA. And yes, in future, in India also, we can expect the import of this vaccine. Now, European Union leaders agreed to donate at least 100 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines to poorer nation by the end of the year as sub supplies steadily rise across Europe. Under COVAX facility, UN-backed COVAX program, these 1 million doses uh, will be provided to poorer nations. Though uh, we can understand EU supports this COVAX program. Then Cyclone Yas follow-up, yes, Odisha evacuated about 2 lakh people and West Bengal evacuated about 11 lakh people from coastal areas of these two states and temporarily relocated them in different shelter homes or shelters built for these people in the coastal areas. Then climate scientists say that Bay of Bengal where Cyclone Yas has formed is at least 2 degrees warmer than what is normal for this time of the year. And we can expect, uh, let's say, such kind of cyclonic activities when there is a, a comparatively warmer temperatures, sea surface warmer temperatures in Bay of Bengal. Along with that, researchers have pointed to the trends that suggest a relative decrease in number of cyclones in Bay of Bengal and rise in Arabian Sea. Yes, this, this year, just now, we have experienced cyclone Tautai that originated in the Arabian Sea. Last year, cyclone Nisarg was there uh, in again Arabian Sea before monsoon time period or pre-monsoon time period. So such kind of activities, more and more cyclonic activities happening in Arabian Sea and as compared to Bay of Bengal, there earlier on an average, the total five cyclones originate uh, in Indian Ocean, both in Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. In, Comparison proportion, four cyclones in Bay of Bengal, one in Arabian Sea. But this proportion is changing. This is reducing, this is increasing. This is how the recent trend according to researchers. So to, more, to know more about the tropical cyclones, please refer to the Hindu analysis of 16th May 2021. On that day, in that uh, video discussion uh, of uh, the Hindu newspaper, we have discussed everything about tropical cyclones for your prelims examination from geography perspective and mains examination GS1 paper geography part. Okay. So yes, we can solve such kind of question in for the pra practice purpose. Prelims, yes, <clears throat> on daily basis we are providing such MCQs. So you can download this document from the description of this video and we have provided the link to this PDF. You can solve these MCQs, you can keep this PDF for your follow-up purpose, revision purpose also. Along with that, on daily basis, we are providing the solution to these MCQs in detail along with other such practice MCQs and their solutions on our Telegram channel. So the link to Lukman I's Telegram channel is provided in the description. Uh, do join that Telegram channel where the enrich, uh, we can say, or uh, the enrichment of your resources, your preparation can be done. It will help you in your preparation. Okay, so yes, these were important articles and yes, we have provided some MCQs, try to solve them. Along with that, the Lukman IS has come up with a test series program for next two months. So those who want to improve on the writing practice in certain areas, they can join these test series, which is very effective. For more information about this test series, you can contact Lukman IS. Thank you.